Something absolutely monumental has happened with Bitcoin mining. So historically, well, once upon a time, Bitcoin was mined with CPUs. So basically anyone could mine Bitcoin and participate. And you were mining hundreds of Bitcoins per day, depending on your hardware and how early you participate. What a time I wish we all could have participated in. But long story short, Bitcoin mining became an arms race. And then eventually ASIC miners came to be. Application specific integrated circuit miners. These are purpose built machines, custom computers that all they do is mine Bitcoin. Or sp more specifically, the SHA-256 mining algorithm, the only notable coin on that mining algorithm, would be Mr. Bitcoin. Well guess what? I love mining Bitcoin. I'm doing it in my garage right now. It's an incredible way to earn passive income. And guess what? We're jumping behind the green screen today to break down the latest news of what's to come with the new Intel Bitcoin mining ASIC chip and how they are a reputable manufacturer who are going up against a sea of absolutely awful manufacturers that produce Bitcoin miners. All of the companies that make Bitcoin miners right now, overall, they suck. They suck, they're, they're just period. Price gouging, poor customer service, tariffs, I mean, just you name it, there's just a bunch of issues and roadblocks and hurdles. Today, I hope you understand how just incredible this is, not only for just Bitcoin miners, but even just Bitcoin's proof of work, decentralization and security of their network as a whole. My name is Vosk, you're on the Voscoin YouTube channel, home of tales, the cutest pup and dogecoin in the world, ever. It's no secret, I'm not hiding it, I love mining. I mean, we've reviewed literally hundreds of mining rigs on the channel, look behind me, there's miners, okay? But, I'm really excited, and to be honest, I really don't find ASIC miners all that exciting. They're more just like tools, right? It's just like, okay, you know, it, it, it's something to get something done. It makes money. It's more of a robotic employee. GPU mining rigs are like labors of love and they're just very fun and engaging. And it's very like hobbyist, right? But ASICs, they're like the business guys. They're all business. They're here, they show up, they make money, they punch the nine to five and you work them on overtime. But my biggest gripe with ASIC miners is not even just the fact that they all kind of look similar and they're all kind of boring, right? It's the fact that the manufacturers behind them are, to put it bluntly, awful. So the fact that Intel is finally unveiling an ultra low voltage Bitcoin ASIC, which means that they are competing, okay? They're competing with Bitmain, with MicroBT. They're going to potentially completely shake up the industrialized world of Bitcoin mining. The coolest part about this ultra low voltage is I would love to see super efficiency in small scale deployment, right? Many miners actually decentralizing and get miners back into the hands of more people. That's the coolest part about mining. Intel, if you don't know, you know, right, to take the words right out of this article, it's one of the largest chip makers in the world ever. So let's talk about that chip. This is an article from Compass Mining who are literally all about Bitcoin mining. How exciting from their point of view is being a Bitcoin mining middleman, right? To have a new very notable ASIC miner, Bitcoin miner producer entering the market. Intel's ASIC functions 1,000 times more efficiently than the next GPU. Intel will be manufacturing the chips at the industry competitive level. Two new applications within industry segments could be coming. Look at this article from Intel. Blockchain is a technology that has the potential to enable everyone to own much of the digital content services they create. Some even call it an inflection point in computing, fundamentally disrupting the way we store, process, and transact our digital assets as we usher in the era of Metaverse and Web 3.0. Okay, so how crazy, how freaking crazy is this? The blockchain accelerator will ship later this year, engage directly with customers that share their sustainability goals. Argo Blockchain Block, formerly known as Square, and Grid Infrastructure are among our first customers for this upcoming project, right? Then, looking down, deliver a blockchain accelerator that has over 1,000 times better performance per watt than mainstream GPUs for SHA-256-based mining. 
I saw the reason Intel News and I, I took a step back and a deep breath. I'm like, yeah, okay, just like a couple years ago, right? And really we've heard the Intel Epic GPU coming soon and Bitcoin ASIC miner and, and, and Intel just ASIC mining chips period before we, see all, we saw things like the eASIC. But an ASIC doesn't have to be for mining, which is something that's commonly misunderstood, right? There's eASIC devices here. So eASICs are structured ASICs. These devices provide a lower unit cost and lower power compared to FPGAs, field programmable gate arrays, because an ASIC is just a better FPGA, and an FPGA is basically just a very hard to use and powerful GPU or graphics card. But an FPGA can, let's say it can do 10 things, an ASIC miner can just do one, but it will do that one thing much better than everything else. It's incredibly specialized. It's not the multi-tool. It's that very expensive, specific tool that does one job and it does it the best. But forget about Intel, apparently these new miner guys have the most powerful and environmentally friendly Bitcoin miner ever. The no miner, the scam miner, the fake, I mean, excuse me, the NM440, right? So I already broke down everything in this video um, right here. New Bitcoin miner earns 50 a day. Is it legit? Um, well, look, all I can say is that you better watch the video before you spend any of your money. Let's compare and contrast the Intel potential miner with things like Bitmain, right? So we see the Antminer S19 XP that's going to become the new standard for Bitcoin mining if it's not if it's not disrupted, basically. Um, those will be shipping probably by the end of the year if Bitmain hits their, their targets. The existing best Bitcoin miner and standard is the Bitmain amp miner s19 j pro okay this is what people who are buying bitcoin miners right now and building out farms they are using this miner there are many other sha 256 asic miner producers we've talked about a lot of them on the channel we've covered obviously bitmain so many times they sell units of one and they just have made a ridiculous amount of miners over the years. Bitmain has also created a hydro version of the S19 Pro that is the most powerful readily or coming soon available Bitcoin miner. Then as we go down the list, we see the never before seen Apollo B2, I don't recommend that. Uh, there's the micro BT, what's miner? So look, micro BT actually manufactures a ton of miners, but they mainly deal with big clients. That's why you don't see a lot of small time Bitcoin miners using micro BT what's miners. And then there's the Canon Avalon Miner 1246, who, well, you know, they're just as interested in their miners as they are their stock price. And that really sums up the profitable, readily available Bitcoin mining rigs that you can buy. There are some other ones, there are some cheaper alternatives like the Bolin Miner, which we recently covered. Um, you know, if your electric rate is reasonable, that could be a good option. A lot of people struggle with just finding, you know, what's in stock, what's available. The S17 Pro, right, is basically the previous go-to Bitcoin miner. And a lot of people still scoop these up because they're, they're profitable still. They make more money than they burn in electricity on an average residential electric rate. And everyone, including myself, have been waiting so patiently for Gold Show to freaking make a Bitcoin miner. They still have not released one. Myself and most other people in the world would be very excited to see that. Disclaimer here, we did collaborate with them to bring a Voscoin Mini Doge miner to market. Um, super cool opportunity, incredibly proud of it. And just trying to, you know, decentralize mining and, and make some cool stuff along the way. Personally, what I would love to see from Intel is basically a mini Bitcoin miner that is more efficient and more profitable. The perfect example in comparison for something like this would be the Apollo BTC by Futurebit. Or how cool would it be to see some ASIC miners that are actually just little USB miners coming back into the fray? Because this was a leading standard many, many years ago for Bitcoin mining, uh, not like specifically this one, but USB mining Bitcoin. Freaking cool, so crazy, incredible nerdy right I'm all about it in this day and era well we'll probably have to be like hey for, forget the USB I know 3.0 is old news so let's get some Thunderbolt miners and whatever else but the point is that this is really freaking cool and, and Bitcoin is becoming so big and just producing so much money every single day for year over year over year in daily mind bitcoins that the behemoths the Giants 
the big tech companies in the world can no longer ignore them. We see an ASIC miner from Intel. Wow. What if we saw offerings from NVIDIA and AMD? What if that is the next step? It's interesting. It'll completely change the game for better and worse. You know, the, the, more, we, the more mainstream we get, the less speculative this becomes. And, you know, it'll go from you hope to break even on your miner in a year or less to, oh, yeah, you know, you make your money back on your Bitcoin miner in five years. And that's great. And, you know, it's it, the game's changing it. And it's it's just I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's weird. I mean, I haven't been in crypto the longest, but I've been here a while. And just how much has changed in the period I've been here, which is about five years, is insane. I'll also tell you that the color of my hairs on my head have also changed in the same period. Coincidence? There's another crazy coincidence too, is that if you watch this video and don't slap the subscribe button, then you're gonna disappear. I don't know if I can say that. So if I can't say that, then I didn't say that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, super cool, really crazy. And also I hope you enjoy our free content here on YouTube. This content is made possible thanks to our channel sponsors as well as Google ad or YouTube ad revenue. Hey guys, it's Ms. Fosk here to tell you about our video sponsor, Meme Kong. Meme Kong's goal is to become the king of all meme coins. They want to bring integrity, utility, intention, and purpose to the meme coin space. What makes them a little different is their team dynamic and their thought process behind making the coin. When the team was in the process of creating Meme Kong, they conducted research on what other meme coins were doing right and how they could improve. And this ultimately had an influence on how they developed their coin. Essentially, they've put a value on having a strong and fully doxed team having a coin with utility and engaging with the community. And that's one reason why all of their project managers and their founder has been doxxed from day one. Their founder, Christopher Thoman, has an extensive background in business and finance, and he started out as a stockbroker. You can actually check out his full history on his LinkedIn profile. Meme Kong prides themselves on their team. And on their website, they say, we know who we are, have nothing to hide, and operate with an unprecedented level of integrity. They also initiated a 24-7 voice chat in their Telegram group, and with team members from all over the world, they claim they're a 24-7 team, just like crypto. They also plan to implement real utility behind their token and collaborate with other projects in the space to grow. Their website mentions an incentivized social engagement app and a play-to-earn game where holders can earn more of their Meme Kong token, or MCong. MCong is an ERC-20 token that operates on the Ethereum blockchain right now, and they plan to add it to other blockchains in the future. It will be launching at $0.001, or one-tenth of a cent. They had a six-figure start liquidity, which has since grown to seven figures, and they'll have an initial three-month lock on their liquidity for utility purposes. You can read more about the details of their liquidity lock on their website. Looking at their tokenomics, there appears to be a 9% purchase tax on all purchase tokens and a 9% tax on the sale of all tokens as well. So if you're looking to trade, you'd have to clear about 18% to make your money back. This is not an endorsement and BossCoin does not give financial advice. Learn more about this project using the link out in the video description below. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.